YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here with another video and in this video oh Tay 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 he's back he is back and he's officially back like y'all don't understand well it's actually a lot of y'all will understand when I saw that notification on Twitter from the Ravens and it was Tay Tay walking out now nah, he was right next to Alejandro Villanueva so it made him look kind of small but when I got that note I got hype man I got hype like, my morning was already going really good, uh, but that made it that much better. Like, seeing him walk around, seeing him move around, no problems, no limping, no none of that. And then when they showed the clips of him backpedaling, turning around, ah, catching the ball. Ooh, man. I said, boy, please, Tay Tay, please. He got to make it through this year, man. He got to. He got to because I think he, ha he has so much writing on this year for sure but before we get into that team keep it clean i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank you thank you for supporting shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons uh newest patron shout out to jimmy mosley love you thank you i love all of y'all thank you for supporting and team keep it clean thank you for taking this positivity to other people too thank you Shout out to all the other Ravens, YouTubers, content creators, all that good stuff because we all rock together. I rock with everybody. We all rock together. We all good. And it's all love, man. That, and that's exactly how it should be. All love. Spread love. Keep spreading that positivity. Be a light in somebody's darkness, man. Because a lot of people got a lot of darkness around them, man. Be a light in somebody's life, man. Light it up. Not, not, no, not that lighted up. Not, nope, not, not 420 lighted up. Not, we team keep it clean over here. But anyway, Tay Tay, he's back in the building. And Tay Tay, man, we, we know like this, we know who Tay Tay is. We know what Tay Tay does. We know how impactful he can be for the Baltimore Ravens. Because just think about this, just his presence alone. From being on the field, just his presence alone makes the Ravens that much better. Why? Why? How? What, what does that mean? Well, yeah, we know he's a really good slot corner. But him being there, that kicks Marlon Humphrey back to the outside in his natural position. Now, Marlon Humphrey, he's been, he been getting down in the slot now because he's been there a lot, especially with Tate. But you kick Marlon Humphrey back out outside. Ooh. And he's that much Because he's a much better outside corner Than he is a slot corner Even though he's still a good slot corner But he's a better outside corner So that's where he needs to be But with Tay Tay He also His presence alone It makes the Ravens that much better How again? Of course Marcus Peters He's on the outside as well But then Depth 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 And quality Depth Because him being back Jimmy Smith you can use him in more ways than you would normally use him if Tavon Young was hurt. Because Jimmy Smith, outside corner. But also, Jimmy Smith, Ravens want to throw him in some packages at safety? Okay, we can do that because we have that luxury because Tavon Young is healthy. So we're all really hoping that Tavon Young remain, remains healthy this year. But Ravens, one thing that we always say on here... Is that you have to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And the Ravens, of course, Marlon Humphrey, we know they can kick him in the slot. They brought back Jimmy Smith again. Marcus Peters restructured his deal. He still remains a Baltimore Raven. But they also, they drafted a Sean Wade. Sean Wade is known for being an excellent slot cornerback. So just in case, we're hoping that he can just be a depth guy right now. But just in case... Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Brandon Stevens, who has yet to sign his rookie deal. I'm sure it'll be any day now. He it can also play some slot corner too. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And that's it. And that's it's, it's the business. So we want Tavon Young to be out there. We want him to be here. Be healthy. But Ravens, they got to stay prepared, man. Just in case. Now, um, Tavon Young was back, but there were some people that weren't back. Uh, one of those being Ronnie Stanley. Now, Ronnie Stanley, every day that we don't see Ronnie Stanley, 
uh, it gets a little tiny bit more and more concerning. Um, because, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to freak out anything until training camp. Uh, and, and if training camp comes around and Ronnie Stanley's not back yet, it'll be like, oh, okay. Because, you know, Ravens, they, they don't, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. You know, they signed this offensive lineman and that offensive lineman and that offensive lineman. They signed like 50 offensive linemen. But again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Um, and Derek Wolf. Derek Wolf, I don't think we've seen him yet. Even though, again, remember last week, it was voluntary. It was completely voluntary. This week is mandatory, so you have to be there. If you, I, no, I think Derek Wolf, no, he was there, but he wasn't participating. I think they said he was standing off to the side. So, but he was there. Uh, Patrick Ricard, we saw him at voluntary, so no worries there. Nick Boyle, we know he's still also recovering from an injury. Um, so that's another one to keep an eye out on. Ronnie Stanley and Nick Boyle for their bounce backs. And Tavon Young, he was another one, but hey, he's back. So, But he did get injured in week two. So he got injured like super early, way before both of them. Juwan James, we know his story. He's not expected to play this year. Uh, Jacob Breland. Jacob Breland, he was hurt from last year. Don't know the status of his injury. I don't think we've seen him out there yet. So yeah, I think he's still rehabbing whatever injury he has. Um, Jordan Richards, I'm not sure what's going on with him or Eamon Marshall or linebacker Aaron uh, Adoye. So Ravens had, they only had nine guys missing. Um, some were definitely due to injury, but others, uh, not sure. Not sure what the case is. Um, but either way, it's almost time, man. Ravens have today, they have tomorrow, and they have Thursday for the mandatory minicamp. Uh, then they get a little break for a little while, and then I believe what's up next is training camp. So we 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 getting there. It's the middle of June. It's like literally dead center middle of June. Um, we got got to get through the rest of June. So two more weeks, and then get through July. So a month and a half. Then it'll be August, and August will bring around the preseason. And y'all know when when preseason gets here, we're we're literally right there. So keep being patient. We, 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 we getting through this thing. And I don't know for y'all, for me, though, this has been like the busiest offseason ever. Ever. I thought things I was, I was thinking I would be telling my wife and stuff, telling God, oh, yeah, the offseason. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it because it's a little break and it is a break still. But I'm like, oh, yeah, da, 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 it's going to slow down a lot. And no. Nah. It hasn't slowed down. It's still been crazy busy. But I ain't complaining. So, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Oh, anybody that sent in questions from subscribers, please be patient. I ain't forget about the questions. I see the questions. I get the questions as long as you send them to the right email. But I get them all. We get them all. But please be patient. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Shout out to Tay Tay coming back. Hopefully he stays through this entire season. No setbacks, no injuries, no nothing. We rooting for Tay-Tay. Shout out to him, man. We out.